Hey everybody, today's video brings us out to Epcot. Yes, finally back here in Epcot, my all-time favorite Disney park. It feels good to be at Epcot. We're walking around the World Showcase right now. We're probably not going to walk around the entire World Showcase because it's actually a one-mile loop all the way around the World Showcase Lagoon, which is a crazy long walk that I've done about 47 million times. This is how I get my exercise when I'm in Disney World. I just walk around the World Showcase over and over and over again and burn off all those hamburgers and all that pizza and all that horrible, disgusting, but delicious Disney food that I spend the next like two weeks eating. I actually just had a really delicious hamburger over in the American Pavilion. Went to um, the Regal Eagle Smokehouse and had myself a, a hamburger that they put on, on Texas toast, on, on garlic Texas toast. It is the most amazing, delicious hamburger. I, I eat there all the time. Though I was good. I did not uh, I did not drink it with a Coke. I was tempted to, but I was good. I just had myself a, um, a, a uh, what's what I'm looking for? An iced tea. I cannot think of the word. For some reason, the word iced tea did not pop into my, you know what it is? It's, I, no, I was gonna say it's a lack of caffeine, but no, tea has caffeine in it. So I, I had caffeine today. It's a lack of sugar, that's what it is. I've barely had any sugar at all today. Although I did get some hockey sticks. I had some, um, yeah. were they co coconut hockey sticks? They were really, really delicious, actually. We got this from over here in the Japan Pavilion. We went into the uh, Michikoshi store, which is a really awesome store. All kinds of fun. My glasses keep, like, I'm so, I'm so sweaty today. My glasses just keep falling down. So we went to the Michikoshi store, which is a really awesome Japanese store. All kinds of fun Japanese merchandise. My son got himself some Yoshi plushes. He's trying to collect, like, every color of Yoshi that there is in, in plush form. And I think at this point, he, he has to have every one. He has so many different Yoshis in so many different colors, with the exception of green. For whatever reason, they never have a green Yoshi. I mean, I know they make a green Yoshi. I just don't know if they make a green Yoshi in the Yoshis they have here at Mitsukoshi, because I have never seen a standard green Yoshi. But he has every every other pot, every other every other color you could possibly imagine. He has every single one. Anyway, when we were in there, I saw coconut pocky sticks, and I've been for some reason craving coconut for the last few days, which is kind of weird. Maybe I'm pregnant. I have no idea. I'm not, I mean, I like I like coconut, but I'm not some like big, oh, by the way, yes, I do have my, my cat and Eosha on today. I'm not some big coconut fan, but I, I do I do enjoy coconut. For some reason, I just really want a coconut over the last couple of days. When I saw coconut pocky sticks, I knew I had to get those. Look at the, the amazing, what's it called, a Tori? The Tori, look at that. That is an awesome sight, or at least it will be once they finally get rid of those stupid, disgusting barges out there. Look at that, look at that sight line. Like, look at this. People have getting photos taken here, right through the Tory. You can see Space Earth over there. It's an amazing photo opportunity. There are so many amazing photo opportunities here in the World Showcase, but every single one of them is for the most part completely destroyed by those hideous barges out there that they announced. They made, they made an official announcement. They are finally, getting rid of those barges. Those were a huge, very costly mistake. They spent a ton of money building those things and now they announced they're getting rid of them. Nobody likes the show. Like they have this big, like sort of light, fireworks, fire, water show thing they do out there. Nobody likes it. They're actually getting rid of that, getting rid of that show and then getting rid of the hideous, disgusting barges, or as we like to call them, the, uh, the tacos and the Stargate, finally. They're getting rid of them, which I'm I'm so happy about. Again, I can't I can't even like I've heard it literally cost like millions of dollars to build those things, and now they're just tearing they're gonna tear them down. I'm hoping they have some kind of like see Disney doesn't do this. Disney should have some kind of ceremony where like they set them ablaze. I mean, I guess they want to do that. They probably want to use them for parts. I I know that other shows that have gone down in the past apparently they sit behind places like this and they they just take off spare parts as needed. So they do recycle them, they do use them over again, but I don't know, some kind of ceremony. Because nobody, nobody likes those barges. Anybody who's a big fan of Disney hates those barges. So I think they should do some kind of ceremony where they have t-shirts and stuff. And I don't know, maybe do a huge fireworks show or something that makes it look like they're blowing up or they're not actually blowing up just to symbolize the fact that they're actually getting rid of them. They don't, they, ooh. There's some Broadway music or something. What's going on down there? They're having a show down there. They're, they're practicing. Look at the Figment Festival of the Arts banner there. I want that so bad. If anybody has any way of getting me one of those Festival of the Arts Figment banners, get me one. 
you, if you work for Epcot, please, I would, I would kill for one of those. That'd be awesome. That'd be like a centerpiece of my, my figment collection. I've actually not picked up any figment, right? No, I've not picked up any figment merchandise since I've been down here. I want to say pretty much everything I, I have, I think my friend Dave picked up most of the figment stuff I want. There might be one or two things that he, he never got me. Those I, may, maybe I'll pick them up, we'll see. But I haven't actually bought any figure merchandise yet while, I, while I've been down here. With that being said, there's a big store up front that usually has a ton of different figment merchandise. I haven't made it up there yet, so I'll probably be going up there later on. In fact, I'm probably actually heading that way. My, my son and wife actually went to go ride Spaceship Earth, my son's favorite attraction. They went to go ride that while I filmed. So I'll probably make my way back up there and I have a feeling my wife will want to go into the store. I'll want to go into the store and uh, I'll probably end up buying something pigments. I think there was like a magnet maybe, maybe a, um, an ornament, no, ornaments? Maybe there was another ornament. There was a couple things that like were, were okay. They weren't like my favorite pieces of figment merchandise, but if figment's on something, I kind of have to have it. So I sort of just, for the time being was like, nah, I don't need that, need that stuff. But now that I've already bought all the stuff I really want, I'll probably end up getting the stuff I only kind of sort of want. But Festival of the Arts is going on right now. As you can see, there's all kinds of amazing art here. Look at this. Look at this stuff. See, this is where I could go really bad if I had money. Because I don't want to buy everything here. I want to buy all this art. There's a lot of it's figment. There's a lot of figment art as well, which has me tempted. Some of it you can actually get for fairly cheap. I wish a lot of these places did more um, postcards. A lot of these artists, they have their their prints in postcard form so if you don't want to buy a full print but you like a print you can buy one for like five or eight or ten dollars however much a postcard costs yeah like a ten dollar postcard here's the trains we're here in germany now look at the train over here this is awesome the romantic the romantic road look at that look at the train look at this how cool is that i am a sucker for model trains as you guys know i just love change in general Always cool to see that here in Germany. There's a, there's a little train over there. Look at that one. That's awesome. So we walked from what, France? Through, uh, where did we go? France through, I forget where we were. France, Morocco, um, Japan, America. Now we're in Germany, if I remember, if I got my, my countries right. So we have walked quite a distance around the world already thus far. Like I said, this is actually a one mile walk all the way from, from Canada to Mexico or Mexico to Canada. It's a one mile journey, which is crazy, but I walk it all the time. And I get into you just today alone, I'll probably walk it like four or five times. Even though it is like, it's like five, four, four or five o'clock right now. It's getting kind of late actually in the evening. We had a late start to the day. Well, that's a lie. We actually had a, a somewhat early start to the day, but we did some things this morning. Check out the uh, amazing Germany Pavilion. As a German myself, I love the Germany Pavilion. They had this really awesome caramel shop. I'm gonna call it caramel, not caramel. This whole store here, it's all caramel confectionaries. So all kinds of um, treats and candies and stuff, uh, caramel dipped apples, things like that. I'm not the hugest fan of caramel though, or caramel. I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I don't usually buy stuff in there, except for Werther's Originals. They do sell Werther's in there. And I love a Werther's Original. Kind of weird to say I don't really like caramel, yet I like, you know, sucking on caramel candies. It's weird, I know, strange. Look at this, there's Snow White is over here. Look at this. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I just inhaled something while <coughs> looking at Snow White. Pardon me, I have no idea what I just breathed in. Probably somebody puffing away on a, um, an e or not, not an e cigarette. What are those things called? Those um, bait, bait pens. You're not supposed to have them here, but a lot of people, I see a lot of people sneak in those things all the time. <clears throat> I just inhaled something. That's probably what I inhaled, unfortunately. But yeah, Snow White was over there. All kinds of fun photo opportunities. Look at all the figment stuff over here. Look at this. I don't have this. This is a really awesome shirt, sweatshirt. Look at that. That's the, that's the front. This is the back. I want that for display, not not to wear for display. I have the mug, I have the, the amazing munchling that smells like fig, that is so cool. I have all the pins, I have the magic band, I, I have the uh, tumbler, 
There's so much cool stuff there, but I can't see I have all that. Ooh, but I don't I see I don't have all this over here. Look at the there's all the different magnets. I think I have like one of the magnets. I don't remember which one I have now. I have to double check. I don't have any of these like ear. See the earbud case is literally asking all these. They're 20 bucks a piece. It's like, do I need it? Do I need an earbud case? No. But it's kind of awesome. I want to say I have this ornament and I have that ornament as well. I know I have one, I know I have one of the magnets. I just don't know which one off the top of my head. So much more art over here. It's really awesome. You can actually you can do spin art over here. Look at this on the bikes. That's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I love all this artwork. Oh, look at the look at the figment. Look at this. Only two hundred. I mean, tem tempting, but here's the problem. I get that. I'm not gonna hang it up in the house. I'm gonna need to put it with all my figment stuff. It's gonna go like on top of my, my figment display. This art's actually really beautiful. Oh, yeah, I, I really love this figment piece. That's amazing. $200, huh? Do I have $200 to be spending on figment? No, not. Not really, don't really have $200 to be dropping on Figment right now. It's all right, we've gone through uh, Germany now, now we're heading into um, equatorial Africa, and then over into uh, into China. We might actually end a video in China, because we're already, what, 11, 11 and a half minutes into this video. Just wanna say hello for me, to you guys from Epcot and the World Showcase. Since Epcot is my all-time favorite Disney park. I love it here so much. This is our third day here in Disney, and yet it's taken us this long to get over to, um, to Epcot. I was saying this morning, we actually had a late start to the parks this morning because we decided to do the pool. It's actually kind of warm out today. Today's the, the warmest day thus far. And according to what I've been seeing on weather.com, this is actually gonna be the warmest day of our entire trip, at least as of now. Things of course could, could change. We're gonna be down here for two weeks. But as of right now that we're saying, this is the warmest day of our trip. So we decided to, to, uh, to do our pool at a resort this morning. It was a lot of fun. They had a really cool water slide that you get so much speed on. My wife was cracking up laughing because when I would get to the bottom of the, the slide, I would come shooting out of it. My, my son would just come, you know, gingerly down and kind of slide out of the slide and into the water. But apparently when I was getting to the bottom of the slide, I was shooting like 50 feet into the pool because I was just getting so much speed. My weight, my my, my weight with all those burgers and, uh, and pizza I've been eating, plus the slide, I was just, I would, yeah, I was gaining crazy amounts of speed and flying down it. Down it. So uh, that's what we did this morning. We did, a, we did the pool this morning. There was a hot tub there. There was a sauna. We checked out the sauna. Didn't really do the sauna. Just went into it to see what it was like. Hung out in the hot tub for a little while. My son loved the hot tub. I mean, it's, it's a giant bath. It's pretty awesome. And then we did, like I said, the pool for like an hour or two. Got breakfast this morning at the resort. Had, had my first Mickey waffles of the, uh, of the actual trip. Here's, here's China, by the way. This is China right here. Right inside there is uh, Reflections of China, which is a really awesome 360 show. It is beautiful in there. You know what, let's actually end the, should we end the video here? Or should we end the video in the church? What do you guys think we should end the video? Maybe I'll show you what's inside there some other time. It's, it's just really pretty inside there. I wanna take you over to Norway. We'll end the video, what's we're gonna do? We're gonna end the video in Norway at the church, because why not? The um, Frozen ride, last time I checked, uh, was actually down. So we try to get a return time for Frozen, but unfortunately, at least as the last time I checked, the Frozen attraction, Frozen Ever After, it's actually down and they're not, uh, they're not opening up today. From what I've heard, let's actually go see if it's open now. Maybe maybe they've re reopened it. If they have, I'm definitely gonna get a return time for it. Is there, is this, I don't know what this line's for. This line's either for the restaurant or it's for Frozen. Check-in for, no, this is the check-in for the Princess Storybook Dining. That's awesome. I wanna do that. I wanna do the Princess Storybook Dining. And it looks like, looks like Frozen is definitely closed. I don't know, I don't know if it's down for refurbishment or if it's just down in general. I'm not sure why it's actually shut down right now. But unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to ride Frozen or what used to be one of my all-time favorite attractions, Maelstrom. Who here? The comments down below. Who remembers Maelstrom? That was the was my second favorite Disney attraction. First being Haunted Mansion. Second, which we didn't, we didn't, we never actually went on Haunted Mansion yesterday when we were in the Magic Kingdom. That, yesterday was kind of a weird day, of the, the way we just did Magic Kingdom. We didn't actually ride it. We didn't ride much yesterday. We kind of had, just had a very chill day. Honestly, our trips have become that way. Our trips down here to Disney, since we come down so often, 
have become kind of chill trips. We just sort of do, you know, what, whatever. If we get on an attraction, good. If we don't, we don't, whatever. We're just here so much. It doesn't even matter anymore because we come down so often. We just sort of take our time, relax, just have a, have a good time in, in Disney. We don't, we don't rush around too much, but Maelstrom, my second favorite Disney attraction. And they turned it into, and turned it into a Frozen ride, which they did a good job. It's a fantastic, the Frozen Ever After is actually fantastic. So they took one of my favorite attractions and turned it into an attraction that's really good. Not one of my favorite attractions, but still a really, really good attraction. So I can only be kind of sort of mad. Same thing with, again, Princess in the, or um, with the, uh, what am I drawing a blank with? Um, Splash Mountain, they're turning it into uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. If they do a good job, I won't be too upset. This is the church here in Norway which is pretty cool. There's some neat things inside here. A lot of people don't seem to come inside here. They had the door, they actually had the door open today. See, a lot of times these doors are shut and like people don't know you can come in here. There's, there's Loki. This is pretty awesome. Look at this guy. There's Odin and Thor. So it's the actual true. The true stories of the actual Greek gods, not the uh, not the Marvel versions. There's, Love your shirt. There's Thor. Shirt. I was gonna say there's Thor right there. Look at that. Thor, Thor's gonna go check himself out. In the, there you go. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> anyway, guys. All right. With that, I'm gonna let you guys go. So we got to see Thor. That was really cool. All right, guys. So again, here ending. Gonna end the trip here. End our ooh, six, again 16 minutes. Sorry, these videos have been very long. Again, hashtag down below still watching if you're actually still watching this uh, like 17 probably by the time i'm done 20 minute long video i'll just i'll continue to walk over into mexico as we end this video but all right guys oh you know what oh, i gotta show you the mariachi band now i mean how can how can they start up as i'm editing this video and not show you the mariachi band look at this this is why i love disney so much this is so cool this is awesome look at this why you always see a smile on my face when I'm walking around Disney because there's no reason not to have a smile on my face. I believe, yes, Donald Duck's over here. Look at this. This is awesome. It's Donald. How cool. All right, guys. But yeah, I am going to let you guys go now. Like I said, I'm sorry. 20 minute long video. Hashtag down below. Still watching. If you're actually still watching this video, I do appreciate that, guys. I did say we're not going to walk around the entire World Showcase, and we almost have at this point. We have two more countries we could go walk around yet, and then I've shown you everything, but we're not going to, we're not going to do that. We're going to end it here in Mexico at the Mexico Pavilion. Look at the amazing, I know I can see the word amazing a lot. Look at the awesome temple here. Look at that. But all right, guys, with that, I am going to let you go, unless I want to take you inside. <laughs> do, you want to see, do you want to see what's inside the temple? Because it's actually pretty awesome. I feel like a lot of people just haven't been to Disney. Like a lot of you guys watching maybe haven't been here. And I feel like you're thinking, well, what's inside the temple? There's actually a, a whole attraction inside here, but there's a restaurant as well and there's shopping inside here. It's huge. This place is awesome. Looks like you're actually like outside when you're inside here, which is really neat. Look at this. It's not amazing and then it gets even better because when you walk in you see this and that is what is inside the temple here at the mexico pavilion at the world showcase but all right guys i'm gonna let you go now i'm sorry this video went way too long like i said hashtag down below still watching if you are still watching i appreciate it guys so with that, like I said, we are done. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you grab yourself red, so red stuff. T-shirts, proceeds, both in Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do good help putting gas and Vanabelle and getting us out to cool places like this. I really do appreciate you guys helping, helping support this show. It really does mean a lot to me. Look at this. Is it me? What do you think? Comments down below. Should I, 
or maybe the one with the flowers. I don't know. Leave a oh, R. Oh my gosh, look at this. Hold on. I, I can't get it. There we go. This, this thing weighs like 42 pounds. Ugh. There we go. What do you guys think? Me? Yeah? I'm think I mean, it would keep the sun on my head, that's for sure. Oh my god. Oh, well, that's my hat, actually. Sorry. <laughs> I know it's a cool hat. The kid, the kid, the kid wanted my hat. My sweaty, disgusting hat. All right, guys. Like I said, that's it. We're going to let you guys go. So, I'm sure you guys, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for all the different links. If you guys hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, I better get out of here before somebody tries to steal my hat again. So, that's like I said, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. All right. Bye.